Hey, Jesse. Donnie, hey. It's good well, to see you. Thanks for meeting me for lunch. Well, this is an easy one, one of our favorite spots. Right? Yeah. With our Mexican heritage, I think we get a little picky with our Mexican cuisine. We do. We but do. this one checks all the boxes. It sure does. But me and surprises, today we get to meet with Mr. Vega himself to see all his successes for Hacienda de Vega. A little bit of the behind the scenes today? Yeah. Well, let's go eat. Yeah. Alonzo, you've done such a beautiful job with Hacienda de Vega. It's Thank a pleasure you. to even have the opportunity to talk to you over your delicious food. Thank you for coming <laughs> in. Thank you for having me. So I know Jesse and I, we love coming here, but a lot of people don't know how much love and passion actually went to starting this. Or history. History, yeah. 16 years ago. It, it's been a long road. We started the restaurant um, in 2003 wow. in the city of Escondido. And at the very beginning, it was a complete family affair. Um, mom, dad, my brothers, uh, my wife and I uh, have been doing this for about 16 years. And a lot's changed and not changed, right? So you really love keeping the tradition and your roots and history spread throughout your restaurants and in your food. Right. From, from the very beginning, um, it was our intention to bring a lot of what makes family culture, our uh, Mexican culture, very family-centric. Um, a lot of what happens in Mexico in a family happens around the dinner table. And the food is one of the very most important things about our gatherings. Absolutely. Right? So um, all our recipes, our original family recipes dating back generations, um, we've evolved over the years. We've brought in some, some customer favorites, but most of our food has remained unchanged from the very beginning. I love that you're true to your roots, right? The Hacienda itself being the center of families in Mexican culture, and you're bringing that history to the table here in San Diego. Yes, that was, one, that was our intention from the very beginning, from the very beginning. And we represent the different areas of Mexico throughout our food. We have foods from the coast. We, we have a lot of fish and a lot of um, seafood on our menu. We have some foods from the Yucatan Peninsula, but it's very centric to Mexico City where my family is originally from. And I know a lot of people, I mean, being in San Diego, north of the border, a lot of times people think of Mexican food as just the, you know, the cheesy, the heavy. But in reality, there's so many wonderfully, you know, multifaceted foods south of the border, and you were able to capture that and bring those flavors here. Right. We, we go through a lot of painstaking efforts <laughs> to bring some of, the, some of the original ingredients. We import some of our mole sauces. We, we have a lot of dried chilies, which go into making a lot of the more complex sauces in our dishes. Even our cheeses. Our cheeses are cheeses that are traditional to Mexico, which our Mexican food has um, a strong Spanish influence. Um, so we have some manchego cheeses, some cotija cheeses, but never anything um, that you find in other restaurants that's, you know, cheddar cheeses or yellow cheeses. Right, yes. Well, that attention to detail, I mean, it comes through in the plate. I mean, it's just delicious. It's one of the reasons why we keep coming back here. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And this isn't your only location, right? You originally started in Escondido. We did. We started in Escondido in 2003. Um, in 2017, we, we shut the doors in Escondido, and we started um, getting this location ready, which is in Encinitas Rancho Santa Fe border. And we also have a location in Carlsbad that opened in 2015. I mean, yeah. the ambiance, you scored this spot here. The yeah. food, the drinks, all we need is a little bit of live music, but you do that too. We do that too. Um, <laughs> yes. We have live yeah. music at both locations. Okay. At our Carlsbad location, we have large scale yeah. live music bands. Um, you know, people that like to dance and, and party the night away. In, in this location, we have more of an acoustic take on, on our live music. Uh, we have single, single players and we have duos and trios that play. Um, around the fire pits in the evenings on Fridays and Saturdays. A little something for everybody. Well, I've been looking at this beautiful presentation, feeling this beautiful breeze. I think it's time we have a little bit of food and maybe head in and check out the ambiance in there. Absolutely. I think so. <laughs> Enjoy. Buen provecho. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for having us.
opportunity to talk to Alonzo and go over all the amazing cuisine that's offered at Hacienda de Vega. But now we hear that you're the best mixologist in all the land, right? It's true. <laughs> oh, I love it. Favorite place in the restaurant, the bar. Tell right. us what you got. We're going to be making one of my favorite cocktails on the menu. We do a play on an old fashioned, but we switch out the bourbon for tequila. Wow. Um, today we're going to be using Maestro do Bel and Yeho. I've turned many uh, non tequila believers and the um, introducing them into this wonderful spirit and having them understand there's many ways to drink it and enjoy it. Well, you get your traditional margarita, right? But this is, I'm sure, a special traditional margarita for you and how you make your Very ingredients. much so. We actually use our Dobel Diamante in this. Um, they were the first tequileria to blend tequila together. It has a reposado in Yeho and extra in Yeho. I like it. Awesome. Well, I'm ready for the tequila. Tequila old fashioned? Tequila old fashioned. Okay. Well, don't mind me, I'm gonna take a drink while you're making that one. Please do. So how long have you been here with Hacienda de Vega? I've been here going on almost eight years now. I started in the Escondido location. I work full time in Carlsbad and then a couple days over here as well. Right, just a fantastic job, I'm sure. So you, I mean, see a lot of different clientele coming in, some for margaritas, wine, beer, you name it, you guys have it all. We, ha we have it all and it's all about picking the customer's brain and figuring out exactly what cocktail is going to best suit them. Now I love tequila but I'm a big beer guy and I hear you guys have over 24 taps of beer at your Carlsbad location, right? Yes we do. Um, a lot of local breweries, they're all within the Carlsbad community. Just three or four miles, there's a lot of breweries and we'll rotate the 24 taps. We try to keep it as local as possible. I yeah, love I love that you really stayed true to what Carlsbad has to offer too. So breweries are very hot right now and the local breweries and you were able to bring those and combine with the cultures of Hacienda de Vega. Absolutely, and we still also branch out and we do craft beer from Mexico. So even at this location and our other location, we have cervecerias from Tijuana, quite the variety. But I'm um, keeping it very uh, small and local, whether it's across the border or here. Absolutely in love already. So I think we should do a big cheers to Hacienda de Vega, cheers. all their beautiful culture, and to the best mixologist in uh, all the land. Thanks, Jay. Cheers, guys. <laughs>